Good morning, folks. It's Paul with Live for Moto. And if you can see, no, you can't. Let me back up. What that is, that is a beautiful day unfolding behind me. So, we're not going to waste it. Oh, I do a fried. <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to go retry a ride that we tried to accomplish here uh, just a couple of days ago and ran into a bunch of snow and stuff. Now I don't think it's going to be a whole lot better because today it's about 40 degrees, 41 degrees or so uh, while leaving here. But the sun's out and, and so we'll see. There's It's hunting season. Maybe uh, the trucks and the hunters have beat some tracks down through the snow. And uh, so we're going to go make another attempt. We'll see what we get into. But there is no doubt about one thing, and that is we're going to see some beautiful country today. So come along for the ride, and uh, let's, let's see what we can get into. Today we are going to be going up on the Uncompadre, and I mentioned that in my last video. Uh, but just in case you're wondering, we're going to be going through Delta, Colorado, and then out uh, 25, County Road 25, and uh, heading southeast to Natarita from there. So let's see how it goes. Well, here we are, folks. If you watched the last video, then you know this is where we turned around. So, we're going to make another try for it here and see how much further down the road we can get. We had one more little storm that came in kind of brief on us um, since the last video that I made. And this is where that rancher told me to turn around because I don't want to go down there. There's too much snow and ice. So let's see if a little sunshine has remedied that for us. But boy, it sure is pretty up here. Here in the United States, these are called aspen trees, all these yellow trees. Most of the people who've grown up and spent their lives around them call them quakies. And that's just, if you ever watch them in the wind, here's a prime example. And you look at this, looking up at that tree right there, all those little leaves are kind of quaking around. They're shaking back and forth, and so that's why they call them quakies. I hope you can see that on camera. I don't imagine it'll be too much longer before I'm going to be done making videos for the winter. But next year, I promise you all, I'm going to have a better camera set up. Because I know it's got to be annoying. I get annoyed by it when I'm editing video. Seeing how much I turn my head when I'm trying to use a helmet cam. And every camera that I've tried mounting to the bike so far, I've had serious vibrational issues. And have not really been able to, except for a few, few places, been able to get very good footage on it. So I'm going to be buying a gimbal. If any of you have any video experience and you know of a good gimbal, I've looked at a few of them, but uh, leave me a comment below if you know of a really good one for motorsports. Well, we made it to the snow line. Fortunately, the road is clear. And everything off the road is pretty muddy and there's just some remaining snow between the trees. And I just talked to a couple of hunters who said that they think it's clear like this all the way down to the town of Anukla, which is the destination, I guess. And I've never been over this road before, so this is all uh, exploring for me, going over some country I'd never seen before. And man, is it pretty. I love it in the fall time around here. Man, it's gorgeous. Especially with the snow, it just adds yet another color to an already colorful time of year. And it really is special. Well, I've hit a couple of signs in the road here. And I hope I've picked the right way to get to Nucla. I think I have. My GPS is showing me that I'm headed in the right direction, I think.
but I thought I'd better turn on the damn camera <laughs> because look at is what is laying out in front of us here a mighty view of beautiful colorful Colorado wow look at that And I realize I sit here and I say things like, wow, and oh my gosh, and it's so pretty, and all of these things. And I'm sure you can see some of it through the camera. But I see the same video you see when I'm making the videos. And I can tell you the video just doesn't do it justice. It is absolutely incredible. For those of you that can't or maybe never get an opportunity to see this kind of countryside live and in person yourselves, you can kind of close your eyes and sit back and remember what you've seen in the video and just magnify it by ten times in your mind. It's, it, it's that kind of a thing that when I say the video doesn't do it justice, it's so much bigger in real life being here than what the video shows you know it just the video cannot give you the smells the wind the sensation it can't give you the size of it all except in close quarters but when you're looking out over a view like that there's just no way to really capture that the way that it actually is And it's amazing. Those tall snowy mountain peaks that you see off in the background. I'm going to point to them here. Let me get the bike turned straight. All that that you're looking at out there, that's all the San Juan mountain range. They're beautiful. Here, let's pull over for a second. Just look at that view. San, Mountain, uh, San Juan Mountain Range is out there. And I can't remember how many of them, but there are several of the 14,000 foot uh, peaks in that range. I want to say it's seven of them. I can't remember, but I'll post it on the screen for you right here. But now we're on the, on the kind of the western side of the on compadre it looks like and everything is still turning colors over here some of it's green some of it's already lost its leaves if you look at this aspen grove over here it looks like all of its leaves are already gone yet you look down here and most of that is green and then you look out here and you see some of it still in brilliant yellow and then all of this oak brush it's all turning brown and it gets kind of red before it turns you can just see the whole valley out there, all different colors. Absolutely amazing. Well, let's carry on. Well, folks, we made it down off the mountain and made it all the way through because we're back on the paved road now which I didn't expect there to be pavement but I do believe that the town of Nucla is just right over this bluff we may see it here in a second and man was that a beautiful ride going through those mountains out there the mountains up in the Uncompadre is what that's called and that was an awesome ride and so we're about to get into stage two of this ride and that's where we head up Highway 141. Now you guys, if you've been watching for a while and seen some of my earliest videos, then you will have seen some portions of 141 way back in the spring when I did a, um, a trip out to a town called Gateway. And we're going to be going through that again. But this time we're going to be seeing the southern end of this highway. Okay, well all this red rock, this is the beginning of the canyon. 
I was telling you about a little earlier and it gets pretty spectacular going through here I mean it's pretty amazing already but right now it's just on one side as we continue on our way here everything you see out that direction goes deeper and deeper into this canyon and it all looks like this on both sides of the road with that river if you can see it down there well now you can't that river will be running right through the middle of all of it so I did a Moab video also and in that video you saw a lot of that red rock and this is that same thing this is all this country is connected out here in western Colorado and eastern Utah and so this canyon that you're seeing here is on the Colorado side but it's going to be a lot of that same kind of stuff so let's hear a song and see what it looks like
Well, I started out down a dirty road. Started out all alone, and the sun went down as I crossed the hill. And the town lit up. The world got still. I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing. Well, the good old days may not be. And the rocks might melt, and the sea may burn. I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing.